Hey, how are you? Well, today we're going to walk through how to take this fog server. It's an Exubuntu fog server. We're going to use it to re-image or deploy an Exubuntu image with a student profile directly onto some old recycled computers. So the first thing we're going to do is let it boot up, and then we're going to sign into the tech account. All right, so it looks like we're booted. Now I'm just going to sign in. And the next step is just to run a diagnostic to make sure that the server is actually running. So once the computer is logged in on the desktop, we're going to use the combination of Control, Alt, and T. So we, we're going to hold all three of those keys down at the same time to open up the terminal. And this is what your screen looks like. So the little terminal box has popped up in the top left corner, and we're going to, again, just check to see the status of our server. But after we check the status, we're going to restart it. So to restart it, you would enter this line of code, sudo service isc dhcp server, don't forget the hyphens, and then instead of status, we're going to say restart. And then enter your tech password the one that you created when you re-image the computer. Then run the status line of code. And if you see active, that's a good sign. That means your server's running. So now type the letter Q and then type the word exit. So our server is up and running. The next thing we need to do is we're going to plug in. Now when we plug into the desktops, we only have to plug in four cables. We're going to need a power cord, our Ethernet connector, our USB, that's for our keyboard, and our VGA connector for our monitor. So just to confirm, the Ethernet connector is actually connecting to our gigabit switch, which connects back to our server. So our server is going to send the information and deploy the image through the gigabit switch really, really fast to multiple devices directly into this desktop, re-imaging it into an Exubuntu system. Okay, so you just have to plug in those four cables. You don't need a mouse. Keyboard will be enough. Let's see what it looks like on this end when we're fixing this computer. Okay, so with this model, what I'm going to be doing is just turning it on. And then you can read the screen just to see what the BIOS options are. It says F12 for boot options. So I'm just going to push F12 and see what boot options appear. Now, you're looking for something to do with Ethernet or network control. There's a network control option right here, onboard network control, so I'm just going to push enter. This is going to allow the server computer to take control of this computer as it's deploying the image. It only takes a few seconds, and we're waiting for a special screen, the fog server screen. It's a white one. As soon as you see it, push the arrow down key. Otherwise, the, it's going to advance through and start booting up from the original operating system. So I just pushed error down and you want to go to deploy. Push enter. The username is FOG and the password is just password. All lowercase. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. And then just push enter. And you'll have an option to select any of the images that you put onto your server. I only have one right now. So I just push enter and that's it. When this computer has the tech login box on the screen, you know your re-imaging is done. 